and then again, put in the middle towards the tail and then pull opposite again. Oh, see, that's the opposite. All right. So Hey, Ash here from Alting's Dentistry, the place where we're passionate about sharing those unwritten hints and tips of dentistry. I'm super grateful you're here and I'm super grateful for this community. It's absolutely amazing over the many, many years and more to come. Is suturing for some reason can be the most difficult, frustrating procedure of all of dentistry. I have no idea why, but it is, especially at the end of a long procedure extractions. You know, if you're a clinician, it's difficult to get that suture to get at the perfect spot. And if you're a patient, you're probably watching this hand float around. But this video, it really breaks it down into a couple simple tips. My Perio buddy called me over to his office just yesterday saying, hey, check this out. So I did. I truly believe in visualization and muscle memory. So these are a couple things you can do at home just over the weekend before you hit the office hard Monday morning. Anyways, let's jump into it. Like this on the side. So this is like the surgeon's knot. Okay, so here's what I do. Mm -hmm. So I go in the tissue, whatever, come out. And I think I might just pull up post-it notes to start because then you can go through really easily and see. So what I do is I have my needle end. So one towards the tail and I pull opposite. Okay, see, yeah. So that's flat. Yeah, yeah. It's flat. Yeah, that's the issue. And then again, put in the middle towards the tail and then pull opposite again. Oh, see, that's the opposite. All right, so then that gives you the flat. So that gives you the flat. And if you look at it really close, it's how it should be with a square knot. Mm. And I was looking at this like all before lunch here. So that is what you want. But I'll, you know what I'll do is I'll do it again. So it's closer to the paper. And so we're looking for that square knot. Okay, so towards the tail. Towards the tail. And then pull opposite. Gets it flat. Mm -hmm. Towards the tail, pull opposite. So if you look at that really close, this side on the right is under, like this loop is under both these. Yeah. And this yeah, side is over. Up. Just like the picture. And so if you do a surgeon's knot, which is like the standard knot to start, you're doing two throws on the bottom and one throw on top. And again, still you have this loop on top, this loop on bottom. And so this is like the basis for every single knot that people should be doing so it doesn't come loose. And a lot of people don't think about like this versus this. No, man, let's try to get it over with. Exactly, you just think you're, <laughs> think you're tying whatever, but that's a little bit different. Wanna try again? Uh, okay. This is actually- Maybe we should, re maybe we should redo it. No, that's reality. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this, like that. So loop towards the tail. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And then you take that and pull opposite. Pull opposite though. So this hand goes up, yeah, like that. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, see, I went behind before. Went in yeah. front. Yep. Yeah, there you go. All so right. that'd be a square knot. That will never and come undone. Well, that could come undone. That's why you do multiple loops, right? Yeah, multiple yeah, yeah. throws, but this way you can verify if you're actually doing it correctly. So it was, okay. Just gotta practice that, eh? So what do you normally do? Like three, one, two, or like? Three, two, two, something like that. But three, I've two, read two. that it depends on the material, potentially. That's what I've been told. I told you need to do three throw on like a, so this is our suture needle, and let's just pretend we're using uh, Kobe's nail scissors, it doesn't really matter, it's just for practicing at home. So we pulled our suture through our tissue, and one of the, you know, the thing is to not leave this as long as possible in the mouth. We try to bring it as close to the wound, but not pulling it through. And then like we were talking about, we're doing, we're gonna do two throws here, and just for practice. Now, and then we're gonna grab it, we're gonna pull through, not uh, fell apart. Now, one of the things is, is that, as you can see, it's not running flat. So we need to bring this hand around to bring the, the knot flat. Now, what I've noticed is that I need to pull it tight for this to finally run flat. 
So we're gonna pull that tight. And the key that I've learned is to try not to, when you're suturing, not to disturb this knot. It's obviously easier to do on a, on a table with a, sh with a skate lace, but it's really difficult in, in the mouth, but to try to not disturb this because this is the initial setting knot. The opposite of my initial throw, so I'm gonna go one backward, bring the, knee, bring the, the, uh, the suture through, and then we've got our, we've got our square knot. So that's that. One of the biggest tips, I'll just drag this on for one second, one of the, the, the most important tips that I've learned ever, the key is to pull it close, you don't have to pull it super close, but to grab it by the end, right at the end, and then take it to where you want, how long you want it to go, and the, the thread will actually pull it, the suture needle will actually throw itself straight, and then we'll flip across, just like that. So I'm not gonna have a, a huge excess, and then throw my Reverse, let's do two, which I normally do. Do it like that. There we go there. And then that's our surgical knot.